y'all, welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. I'm gonna head out and do a hive inspection. I'm gonna check on my splits, and I'm also just gonna pop into my hives and just see how they're doing. Um, it is, it has been rainy for quite a few days, which is good, we needed it, but now it is sunny and drying up, and I am seeing lots of bees out. The bees are extremely busy. Um, they are all over the clover, which is awesome to see all of our, a lot of our clovers flowering in our yard, and they are all over it and loving it, which is perfect. So it's a good time to check on them um, and check on those splits and just see kind of what's up with them. See if I see signs of queens um, and those kinds of things. So my dad is also gonna join me. That's what I'm waiting for right now. Um, he's never done a hive inspection. He's never been around the bees, but my dad is somebody who um, is very passionate about the environment and saving the environment. So I think it would be something that he would enjoy and I think you'll find it really interesting. So join me. Look at these busy ladies. Are you ready for your first beekeeping experience? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> bees are nuts today. This is another split. This one I don't think had a queen. Or didn't show signs of a queen yet. So the best way to do like a hive inspection um, so that you don't like risk squishing your queen if you've got one is pull out because the side frames are normally empty or not risky to have the queen on them this is all called burr comb they're building in between and this was a brand new frame that's all nectar see how it's shiny mm -hmm. that's all nectar and this is all capped honey right here and right that yellow that's pollen that's bee bread that's what they so it's kind of pollen and pollen and nectar all over so in this one i'm looking for signs of a potential queen which means eggs really oh there's eggs i've got a queen She's there's eggs and larvae. This one was really hard to see because it's yellow. It's easier to see up against the black frame. But there's eggs, there's young larvae. So I definitely got a queen. I'd love to find a queen for you. They're so pretty. The queens are just like majestic looking. Say I happen to kill my queen somehow. I squished her during a hive inspection. They have eggs so that they can create a new queen. It's not ideal. Obviously, you don't want to be killing your queens, but. Yeah. If you do, at this point in the season, it's not as big of a deal. Whereas, like, if earlier in the spring I did this and they didn't have eggs, I could have killed this hot, this colony. You can also a lot of times tell by the bee behavior where the queen is. So they follow the queen and they kind of cluster around her. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if one of these areas has the queen. So this is a drone. Right here. That's a male. Mm -hmm. So he's got the big eyes, a little bit fatter body. Uh, males are only used for mating. It's really their only purpose. And they mate once. The queen mates once in her life. And then the drones are no longer purposeful. They are pointless. When they die off, do they kill them? Or? They kill them before winter. They leave them in the, in the summer, in the spring. Uh, because if they have to mate a new queen, they will leave them. But after that, they do kill them. You'll notice if you come out here in like fall, a lot of times in front of the hives are a bunch of dead uh, drones because they, they kick them out of the hive. Uh, you want to go grab me a deep? A second one of these boxes? Alright, so this split, I just sent my husband to get me some more, uh, another deep, because they are drawing out. This is one of the last frames, and they're drawing it out, and all the other frames look pretty darn full of either honey or brood. This is honey, there's a big drone. 
go. It's all honey. Honey and nectar. Eggs, I think. It's so hard to see sometimes. Oh, there we go. Yep, eggs. They look great. Larva, eggs, all the good stuff. So I'll be cat brood soon. Lots of larva. They look great. Lots of bee bread. Very healthy colony. Oh yeah, there's all the cat brood. And eggs. My queen is probably around here somewhere. I really need marked queens. That's what I need to do is mark all my queens. I'm the worst at finding them. Oh yeah, more cat brood. Look at that, drone brood. They look super healthy. A healthy healthy split so because they look so good I'm gonna go ahead and just close them up um, but I'm gonna wait for my husband to get me a, another deep frame or deep uh, brood box because they definitely could use it so what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to put my feeder down here I'm gonna put my feeder up in the next one I don't have sugar water in them right now I do need to get them in them get it in them it just was so rainy for a few days that I didn't have an opportunity to So my beekeeping mentor told me mentor told me to feed your nook, which is very much like a split, until you are two, just about two deeps full. So that is what I did last year, and I had all four hives make it through winter. Did great, got some honey off of them, and a not so good honey year. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep keep with that. All right, guys, so I finished my inspections and ended up, of course, after I turned the camera off, which always happens, found something really cool or had a, kind of a cool learning experience. Um, so I have two hives, two splits that are not clean right. Uh, the one I had given some brood and eggs to Hunter um, last week when I checked them, but it doesn't look like they're making a queen out of any of them. So I was a little worried about them. Um, but I ended up closing them back up, whatever, moved on. Then I went and checked another one of my um, splits, the the newest split, and they are not queen right, and I don't see any queen cells, so I don't think that they're going to be queen right uh, on their own. Go on, dear. Um, So I went and checked my crazy hive because they have made a thousand swarm cells. Um, and I was like, well, I'll probably either find some swarm cells or at least some brood that I can get them. Um, some eggs, you know. So immediately found a frame with four swarm cells, two of them capped already, and two of them with large larvae in them, probably ready to be capped in the next few days. So I was like, okay, well, I squished a couple of them and I put that in the one split. And I was like, well, I can probably find another swarm cell because this hive just seems to make, they just want to swarm and they probably have another swarm cell. Sure enough, found another one from the next frame over, put it in the other hive, the other split that was also not queen right. Thought that was awesome, really excited. Then I started checking through my crazy hive. They have an insane population, like super full, almost two full supers, 100% full super and one almost full super. So they're insane. Um, they're like just super, super busy, really healthy hive. So 
I started checking through them though, and I found zero eggs. So a couple weeks back, we had two swarms go over our garden and or right in front of the garden and over the garden. They were both smaller swarms. The one was a little bigger and the other one was really small. And I ended up trying to catch the one and just for whatever reason, they didn't stick around, um, which is not a big deal. It happens. And uh, I think it was that hive. I think that hive swarmed. And that's why they have no queen, no eggs, because they don't have a queen right now, because they had these swarm cells ready to make a queen so that they could be queen right. And I kind of shoot myself in the foot taking squishing swarm, swarm cells that, you know, when I was moving that one hive or that one frame into the other hive, I squished two swarm cells. So I was like, shoot, they don't have any eggs. They don't have young brood. So they can't make a queen now that I just squished those swarm cells. Like, there has to be like, by some chance, there has to be one more swarm cell in this hive. That hive and I, and I squished a couple other ones, of course, too, um, before. I figured out that they weren't clean right. Should have definitely checked if they were clean right before I started squishing swarm cells. Huge learning experience. Um, so sure enough, the last frame I checked had a swarm cell capped, ready to go. So they will hopefully be clean right. Um, hopefully the queen will hatch this week or within the next you know, few days or whatnot and will be bred and successfully bred and successfully will come back to the hive and and will be, be queen right and will um, continue on with their population and will be a successful, two successful splits. Now at this point, if that one crazy hive is what I'm calling it, uh, if that one does not chill out a little bit, um, which is not a bad thing that they're super populated and super healthy, um, but I may split them again because they are super, super full and they clearly have the potential to swarm even again. So I will keep a close eye on them over the next few weeks. And if I feel like they're going to swarm um, or build up to swarm again, because they had lots of cat brood, lots and lots of cat brood, and they're already super full, um, they may just like outgrow themselves. And if that's the case, I will split them again, which will be a third split from that hive, but they just want to swarm and clearly did. Oops. <laughs> so, that was really cool. I mean, as much as it stinks to have a hive swarm, it was a cool learning experience. And to find those swarm cells and be able to put them in the other hives um, and be able to kind of know that those splits should be queen right then, there's still the chance that when they go out on a mating flight, a bird could get them or, or something could happen. Um, but overall, should be queen right. And hopefully we'll have nine, maybe even 10 hives coming up to go into winter with. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, we're growing today for a better tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.